Form fields are very important for the admin user experience. Twill utilizes Vue.js and some thoughtful REST architecture to provide a robust approach in creating these forms. They can be very simple or very sophisticated. We'll start by adding some additional fields to our project entity. With just a few lines of code, I'll establish tagging. Then group some similar fields into a field set for better organization in the form. Let's start by reviewing our data worksheet. As a reminder, Twill does not require this. It's just an organizational tool I use for planning projects. We already have four fields, and we're adding four more. So let's take a look. The sector is the industry or field related to the website. Whether or not it's commercial, did the developer get paid to build the site? What date the site launched? Notice the minimum is the same day as the very first Twill commit, December 16th, 2016. And our last field for the project model is to choose a layout. Some of these projects might skew towards being text heavy or more use of images. I think it'd be nice to give the editor a choice to select the layout that best accommodates the nature of the content. Let's switch over to the command line and generate a migration to add these fields to our project table. I'm going to set each field and take care to include drop column statements for the down method. Let's run the migration. Because we're appending to the project data, Twill has already generated the files we need, and it's just a matter of updating them with additional configurations. Our first stop is the project model to append the array of fillable fields. While we're here, I'd like to give more options for image cropping. Twill makes this amazingly easy. Following the format we see for screen grab desktop, the ratio numbers I pulled from screen grabs of responsive websites that show viewports as tablet or smartphone. These crops are available to individual images in our forms. In a later episode, I'll show you how you can have multiple crop options for the same image, a tremendous problem solver when developing a responsive page. Now we'll append our project's form to accommodate these new fields. Our sector field is going to use the select form field. I'm going to hard code the options. However, this is not the only way to configure this kind of input. I'm planning to show you more dynamic approaches in future episodes. Our checkbox field is simple, with just a name and label. Remember, back in the migration, I designated a default of zero or false. Our launch date is a date picker form field. In addition to name and label, I can designate the minimum date as well as a maximum. There are variations on this kind of input where you can include a time of day. For the layout field, we are again using select, similar to the sector field, except for one slight difference. The parameter unpack is set to true, and it displays all options as a group of radio buttons. Sometimes this gives an editor a broader context for the choices offered, a small detail but typical of the user-centric design the developers of Twill promote. We initially set our media form to use screen grab desktop, and we'll duplicate it twice and update with our new values. So let's review how our form looks and see if there are any changes or improvements we can make. There are now more fields in the form. We have a sector as a dropdown. Launch date is a calendar pop-up. Layout displays all of our options for our single choice. And now we have three places to include an image. Looking at this though, I feel we can make some improvements. I would like to better group the images. Maybe supply a default for the layout and include some tags to describe the website. Let's tackle the layout default first. In the project repository, we have access to different hooks in the request lifecycle. The one I'm interested in prepares fields before initially creating the data. I could set a default in the migration, but I didn't realize I needed it until now. Or I could work something out in the model's accessor where I'm checking for an empty value and setting the field if needed. But in my opinion, that isn't very clean. Instead, I use an incredibly simple method Prepare fields before create. All that is needed is set the layout field to regular and then return that array. Now to our form. I want to group our media fields in such a way to emphasize their similar roles. And this is possible with a field set tag. Three values are set, ID for the front end, a title for the form, and the option of showing this initially as open or closed. The last change is to add tagging. 
When I would do something like this before Twill existed, it meant using a modal plugin and some Ajax and remembering to set up a many-to-many -many pivot table. Now it's just a few lines of code in the form and including some tag traits in the repository. So let's try out the form. We'll create a new project. I'm selecting a sector for the website and entering a launch date. And notice the layout now has a default of even balance. I can now include some simple tags describing the website. These are only available to the project entity. And now we have a section for website screen grabs. And remember, I'm using placeholder images for now. In our next episode for this series, we'll add a contributor entity and start to explore how Twill makes working with many-to-many -many relationships very easy. Thank you for watching.